What's up guys and welcome back to the life of Kevin and in today's episode we have a lot of work to do as you guys can see Barbie is still pissed she is so angry at the Grim Reaper for what he did they're still engaged she needs to break it off so I've spent most of the week trying to figure out how we should go about doing that you know should we get some kind of revenge should we kill the Grim Reaper should we do something to his house you know we've done some pretty diabolical things in the past in this series but that doesn't really help Barbie. And you two kissing behind her doesn't help either. Can you guys stop? It doesn't really help her because she doesn't really have anybody else. Barbie doesn't really have many friends, which is something that I've pointed out in recent episodes. I kind of noticed that like, she knows the family, she knows the Grim Reaper, and she knows Candy, who she largely ignored last episode to be with the Grim Reaper, which just isn't cool. So I figured getting revenge on Grim isn't gonna help Barbie. I wanna try to form some good, healthy relationships with Barbie this episode, and then then we can try to figure out a way to deal with Graham. I'm sure we'll be able to come up with something. And we're going to manage to accomplish this with Tommy. Because the truth is, Tommy is the exact opposite of Barbie. Tommy is a social butterfly. He knows everybody. He knows all of these guys from high school. He knows all of the girls in the WooHoo Club. So we're going to get Tommy to kind of host a bit of an event. Something small. Something for their age group. Maybe we'll do it in one of the outdoor areas. It'll be something cool. And Barbie can kind of meet some new guys. Make some girlfriends. And then we can move into dealing with Grimm. <laughs> I'm also running into a bit of an issue right now that it says Emma is at work when she is not. And that is definitely not twin Emma because she's dressed like a cop. So if I bring you home... You don't get fired? Okay, thank god. I've tried to bring her home like three times and she keeps getting fired so I have to keep re-logging the game. Okay, we're fixed. Whole family is home. Tommy, I know you love to exercise, man, but uh, actually, it's it's seven in the morning. We shouldn't host a party yet, right? Uh, it's gonna be like it's gonna be like a party. I want to do one of the outdoor ones because I've seen that you can have them with bonfires and like dance parties outdoors in the new Windenburg areas. So maybe we'll wait for a little bit. We'll we'll wait for the sun to go down and then we'll sort this out. I think we'll just spend the day having some girl time, you know, play some board games. Barbie's already kind of calming down a little bit. She's, uh, she doesn't have that, uh, cheating spouse emotion on her anymore. I never did figure out a way to get rid of our Christmas tree. I got rid of the other Christmas decorations. They're all gone now, but the tree, uh, you know, it's kind of stuck here. Kevin kind of screwed the pooch, turning it into this giant well. So, you know what? It, it tells a story. Maybe we'll just leave it there. Screw it. All right, it's five o'clock. The sun is starting to go down. I think now is a good time. Man, phones have been going off. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You see this? What is this? Uh, hey, I heard you became friends with Evie Hunter. She's pretty cool. Okay. That is, that is weird. Hey, I heard you became friends with barbecue sauce. She's pretty cool. Thanks, Mr. Bean. What is it? These text messages are really weird. Okay, that's fine. That's all sorted out. So, Tommy, can you host an event? So it is going to be a dance party because I think that's how they're organized. I think the outdoor areas will actually have like this big dance floor just kind of appear. I don't really know. I've seen it in the trailer for Get Together and something we never got to. I'm really looking forward to it. Party goers. Okay. So we're not going to invite mom and dad. Might be a little bit weird. I think Emma and Kevin are going to sit this one out. Let the kids do their thing. So we're going to invite all of them. We're not going to invite the Grim Reaper because he is a butthole. And we're going to invite pretty much anybody I think is our age. Uh, you know what, screw it, Justin Bieber can come, he's hip with the kids, he's starting to turn things around, it's funny, when I started this series, everybody hated him, and now, you know, he's, uh, he's making better music, I guess you could say, people hate him a little bit less, and done. Fortunately, I still have the bigger parties mod installed, so we can have 32 guests, which should be good, and now I should be able to have it, we can have it at the party house, we can have it, okay, can I have it outside, yes, we can have it at the Ancient Ruins, or the Island Bluff, or the Chalet Gardens. I think we're gonna go with the Island Bluff. I like the idea of possibly skinny dipping, you know, things can probably heat up there, whereas with the Ancient Ruins, it's just kind of dirt. You know what, there's not as much going on there. I think the Island Bluff has everything that the Ancient Ruins do, and more. So we're gonna have it there, and we're gonna go there right now. Nobody dressed up in party clothes. And Boba Fett came. Did not invite Boba Fett. Okay, I was right. So you can kind of come down here and have a bit of a bonfire. And there's like a DJ booth set up with DJ Miles Perkins. Oh, cool. There's even like a, a bar. Movers and Shakers portable Grab bar. That. that is awesome. 
These these new parties are wicked. So we have like all this space and everybody's showing up slowly but surely. Nobody dressed Yasu. up. Little little bit weird. <laughs> kind of Guys, this is this is supposed to be for Barbie. You got to calm yourselves down. Yeah, I kind of expected people to dress up in party wear, but I guess not. Yeah, lots of people still coming. All right. It's cool that people who you didn't invite actually show up to like these more public events. I really like that. And uh, what do we got? Oh, look who showed up! Bunch of the woohooers! Who'd you find, Tommy? Kate has been everybody's favorite so far, but I still don't want to commit. And, uh, oh, Tommy changed too. Good. You don't look like you were just working out. It's a good start. Okay, we need to focus on Barbie. I'm always inclined to go to the others. So, Barbie, you need to change as well. Change into something, um... No, not nude. Whoa! Somebody's doing some mind swiping. Need to watch out for that. Uh, party three? I don't know what your party three is. Yeah, that's a good one. Perfect. Look at that. Do you see that, Barbie? Do you see that cute boy over there? He's, I, I think he might be talking to Apple, but he, I think he was looking at you. What the hell? Oh, that's that's Headless Jack. I thought... Okay, either way, what on earth are you? Wow. Who are you? <laughs> Sexy Linda. Sexy Linda, the party goer. Oh, my God. Okay. That's, that's new. Cool. <laughs> All right, Barbie, one of the first things we need to do is apologize to Candy because we kind of ditched her. She invited us to go to a bunch of things and we just said no every time because Grim was more important. So we're, we're going to make things up to her. Give, give her a hug. There you go. Friends are important. She's your only friend. There we go. That feels so much better. Oh, Thor came out. Look at these guys. There's so many guys here that I do not recognize at all. We have Cedric Cardine. We have uh, Gary Beats. Looks like a bit of a DJ, a bit of a punk. We have Zachariah Hip. Looks like a bit of a hipster. Oh man, there's just so many people. Barbie, okay, we need to make friends. We need to pick somebody to be a friend with. Um, Emma, what are you doing? That has to be clone Emma, right? Yeah, funny introduction. Okay, that's clone Emma. She showed up a little weird when your parents clone show up to the party where you're trying to meet boys, but uh, you know what? We'll we'll work with it. Ooh, who are you? Look at this. Look at this guy, this silver fox. Patrick Flaherty. Okay, Barbie, let's introduce ourselves. Can we do can we do a flirty introduction? There you go. That seemed to work out pretty well. He's uh, he's kind of cute, Barbie. Maybe we can uh, get things going with him a little bit. Barbie Q has learned that Patrick is single. Well then, aren't uh, well, maybe we should share photos with you? We can talk to you a little bit. He's kind of good looking. This is a very weird thing for me to do. I should point out, you know, when I'm playing as like Tommy or even Apple in reality, picking out a good looking girl is easy. Picking out a good-looking guy, I'm just, I'm just kind of assuming, you know. But uh, yeah, he's he's well dressed. Uh, I don't know how old he is, but uh, you know what? You can be in. Oh, he's a young adult, just graying early. Yeah, he's cool. We should, we should get to know him. Whoa, 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 Tommy, who's behind you? Who is this? Leia Blue. We have not. Uh, Tommy knows Leia Blue, but I don't remember her. Is she a woohooer? I don't think she is. Uh, Katie, Erica, other Katie, Madison, Bree. Oh, purchase. Okay, can we? Club points. We need more club points to upgrade. I want to upgrade and get her into the Woohooers Club. We're going to do that at some point. I, I, I won't forget that. But right now, we're still going to focus on Barbie. She, uh, where is she? I don't even see. Oh, yeah, there she is. She's surrounded by people. That's a good thing. We got, we got sexy Linda tearing up the dance floor with that strong jawline. Holy crap. He seems nice. You know what? He's a, he's just kind of grooving out and talking to us. I like it. You know what? Barbie's making a new friend already. That's a, whoa, 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 whoa. Did you see that? What is? Oh my God! It is just a naked barrage. <laughs> there are so many naked people. Oh man, this is ridiculous. Okay. Um, should we? Should we? Oh wait, wait. Patrick is going. Barbie Patrick is going. Should we go with him? I think. Oh, is he getting naked? Barbie, we need to see. He's getting naked. He dove in. Oh, oh, guys, you're not supposed to swim that close together. Everybody, oh, just, they're all just kind of like slapping up against each other. Oh, who's that? Muscly cowboy. Oh God, your brother. 
Okay, let's let's go let's go swim. Uh, can we can we skinny dip? Skinny dip. You okay with that? Nope, nobody around, and then we're gonna go talk to Patrick. This is going much better than I had expected. Can we do anything romantic? Let's let's flirt. Just just a gentle flirt. It's always hard to tell how Sims relations are going because I don't speak Simlish, but I do speak the language of love, and that that looks like a successful flirt to me. Who would have you just met this guy and his dong is like two feet away from you? This is this is ridiculous. How's the party going? Is the party going all right? Boba Fett's taking off. A couple randoms are leaving. Every, everybody's talking about Tommy. What what did Tommy do? Are you are you alive, Tommy? Tommy's naked. Tommy, put on put on. Okay, you know what? Screw it. Naked naked's all right. We're all adults here. Don't don't screw up. Don't screw. Oh no, that that's gonna screw up. No titty flop. Ow. What is it with them and titty flopping in this pool? Oh, far oh, that that is the face oh, of somebody with flat titties. And he went and left. He took off. He was like, you know what? That titty flop is enough for me to get the hell out of here. Man, and now ghosts are showing up. Okay, there are so many. Okay, I take it back. There aren't so many naked people here. It's only the family. It's only, it is, it is Apple. It is Tommy. It is Evie. Guys, you were supposed to come here to help out Barbie. And you're just standing naked in the middle of the dance floor. How is this helping her? Oh, Tommy, Tommy, just get your chips and go. Barbie, Barbie, put on clothes. Okay, you, well, you know, it works. He, he seems interested. No, no shame for the shameless. Let's see where this goes. This went much further than I had anticipated. We're gonna go for a hug. Can we get a hug in? Okay. I love that. Every time you look over, somebody in the corner of Maya is just like, oh, make it. The DJ has just straight up stopped doing his job. He is just sitting there like this. This has turned into something completely unexpected. Largely because Tommy, Tommy, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be dancing with her, man. You don't, you don't know who she is. She, she looks dangerous. The, <laughs> the Sims. Whoa, 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 whoa! What, what just happened? What, what just happened? Literally, everybody disappeared. The party, everybody just disappeared. The party is still going on. There's still 12 hours left. And now, guys, don't, don't hug. Oh, put, put some clothes on. The party's over. When I said put on clothes. I probably should have been a little bit more specific, but you know, whatever. Apparently the DJ's left, party's still going, and he's gone. If everybody's gone, stuff is still set up. Can we just steal all of this? You know, we could use well, one of these, maybe. Oh, the bartender left. The bartender actually packed up her mobile bar and left with it. I can't believe this. Okay, but I still had a pretty good idea, which I think we are still gonna try to implement. What is it with everybody and being mean to Barbie? The kids, kids fight her on the side of the road and throw drinks at her. Yennefer, can you just, just be nice? Now, if you would all stop interrupting me so I can tell everybody what the plan is. <laughs> Tonight went well. We did make a lot of friends. We kind of uh, patched things up with Candy because things weren't going too well. We are now going to invite Patrick back over. She just did. Because things went really well with Patrick. He seems really nice. He's good looking. He, he was good to Barbie, so you know what? Why not? But we're also going to invite over the Grim Reaper. So what is going to happen is they are both going to show up which they are doing now, and we're gonna get into a conversation with all three of them. Uh, let's go here together, and then we're gonna have our first kiss with Patrick in front of the Grim Reaver. And Patrick has decided to take off his clothes to make this happen, which is all the better. Look at, look at that physique, Grim. You could never hope to look that good. Okay, we are going to romance. Um, oh, ask risque question. Apparently we need to work up to it. Look at how pissed he is. Grim, do you see? Yeah, that's right. Are you upset at what's happening right now? Should we ask to be boyfriend or maybe have a first kiss? I, I want to keep Grim in the shot for this. This is just going to be too... Whoa. He left. Grim, did you kill him? What did you do? Patrick? Is Patrick okay? Invite Patrick to current lot. What just happened? I think Grim made him disappear. Patrick, come back. I don't think he left on his own free will. I feel like 
Patrick is busy right now. Grim scared him away. Barbie, do you see what happens? You can never be happy with Grim. We are, we're just gonna have to break it off with him. Grim, we need to talk. Get out of the pool. This, we, I've had enough. You're making the new people disappear, and you cheated on me with my own mom, and you had quadruplets with my mom, and that's just not cool. You're a mean guy, and you've always been mean, and you were bad for Barbie, so we are just gonna find our way through these bushes. You can do it, Barbie. And then we are gonna tell you to go shove it. Barbecue sauce is breaking up with the Grim Reaper. That's right. You had this coming. You can go and be upset now. That's right, Barbie. Give him a piece of your mind. He's devastated. Their relationship has gone to absolute shit. It, look at that. It has gone from almost full romantic down to complete hate. You know what? We should make him your enemy. Can we do that? Can we can we make him your mortal enemy? Can you be mortal enemies with death? Criticize woohoo techniques. Yeah, let's tell him that he's shit at woohoo. Vanilla. That that's a, that's a low blow. What? Yeah, that's right. You couldn't woohoo worth a damn. And you know what, Barbie? Before we go, I don't know if he has a face or not, but we're gonna throw a drink in it. Oh yeah. How, how do you like that, Grim? That is that is so much drama right there. But we did it. Barbie's free. Are you happy now, Barbie? Are you very angry? I think she's a little bit sad. Yeah, the breakup blues. That's okay. You know what, Barbie? It's for the best. It's over with. We could be happy now. Where are you two going? You can't go run off the cliff. Woo! Well then, you know what? The other Sims got to do something as well while Barbie is uh, taking her life back. Uh, incoming call. Hey, I heard you became friends with Patrick Flaherty. He's pretty cool. Grim, I don't even want to talk to you right now. You know what? He's trying to be a cool guy. That was nice of him to say. Uh, I don't know if maybe he's gonna... Uh, oh, you know what? That's such an ominous thing from Grimm. It's kind of like, that's a nice relationship you have there. It'd be a shame if something happened to it. Especially since he texted her and is, like, two feet away. Yeah. We're, we're gonna have to keep an eye on Patrick. I don't want him to die all of a sudden. That, that would be really cool. How are you guys doing? Was your party good? You were naked and drunk for a lot of it. Tommy is dressed like a Spartan. I think, you know what? I think we're gonna call that an episode. I think we're done. I don't think you can call that ending early considering it's noon the next day. But good party. But that's gonna be it for this episode of the life of Kevin, guys. And I'm really happy with how this went. You know, Barbie made a couple of more girlfriends. She patched things up with Candy. She met a couple of Tommy's high school friends and even kind of hit it off with one of them, you know? It went really well. And we got good revenge on Grimm. A lot of people wanted me to kill him or bury him somewhere or something like that. But he has four kids. And those kids are innocent, you know, it's not their fault that Grimm did a shitty thing, so we shouldn't be, like, stealing them from their parents or killing their parents. But at least this way, Barbie gets to feel like she got back at them. You know, they're even now. But thank you guys for much watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. You gonna make me money, little guy? You are adorable. Pink slime, diet, everything. Oh, I need to feed them? For you, chicken! I got a chickadoo. So little and soft, you'd think they're filled with marshmallow. Oh, I want a ranch chickadoos.